Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'll explore the shop by brand section for your Shopify store. So first of all, we need to go to our theme customizer and then we need to choose the page where we'd like this section to be located. So keep in mind that you can actually add it to any section that you'd prefer to your products, collections or several pages like FAQs, contact us, etc. Um, but for our example, let's stay on the home page and add the section here. So we need to scroll down to the add section button. Let's now click on it and add our shop by brand section. So here is our section. And now let's click on it to start customizing it. So first we see the heading shop by brand. We can choose to remove this heading or if uh, you want to let your clients not shop by brands, but maybe by collections, you can of course click here, for example, shop by collection or just add any text that you want. Keep in mind that this section is called shop by brand. So it's designated to, um, to, oh, to see all of the brands that your store supports. However, for stores that provide products only by one brand, maybe your own or just specifically by one brand, then of course you don't need the section shop by brand because you only have one brand, but you can rename it to anything that you want. You can also remove this heading at all and just provide the pictures with links for your clients or just enter shop by brand if your store has several brands within it. So next we can change the card background. So you can choose any color that you want. For example, let's choose this one. As you can see, the color changes, however, for uh, pictures that do not have the transparent background, uh, the um, card background will, will be only seen on these borders here. We'll take a look when we add images that have the transparent background and images that don't. So now for, for now, let's remove it back to white. Next, we see the layout section. We can make these cards full white. So if unchecked, then the container white will be set based on the group layout settings in the theme settings. So we go to the theme settings, so then we go to the layout. And here we see that the container white is set to medium, so to 1680 pixels, but we can change it to small or to large, for example. Or here we can unmark this and leave, leave the container white set as in the layout section. And next we have the offsets for the desktop, uh, desktop and for the mobile version. So offset is this spacing between the sections. So for example, if you want to have more space between this previous section and yours, we can add the offset here. And as you can see, now we have more space in here and the same for the bottom. So right now there was no space, but now we've added some space in between these sections. And don't forget to also set the offset for your mobile. Okay, so now this is it. We got in the section overall. Now let's start adding the brands. So here, as you can see, we have uh, several brands already in here, but you can add more if you need to. There is no limitation on the number of brands that you can actually add. So feel free to add as many as you want. And now let's start by adding the content to these brands. So we click on the first one here and we need to add the image. So for example, we have these images that have transparent logo. Let's now add the image here. As you can see, this is our brand number one. And then we have the image link. So if we want to uh, this image to be clickable so that the clients can click on it and go to the collection of the specific brand, then here we can just click here and add the, for example, the product or the collection. So we choose collections and let's say we have um, a collection called the lace products. So we'll add the collection here. And now once we have the link, when the clients click on this image, they'll go to this collection here. So now let's add the second brand here. This one also has the transparent background. So let's add it here. And we can also add another collection in here. So let's add this one 
this one for example and for the third brand we'll add the image that doesn't have a transparent background it has a white background so we add this image here here it is and we can also link it to the collection or we can link it to the page or to the blog post feel free to link uh, anything you'd prefer and now let's go back to our section settings and change the color background to see how it actually changes so for example let's choose this gray color here and as you can see for these images that have transparent background uh, the whole background was changed to this gray color but this image uh, that doesn't have a transparent background as you can see we can only see these borders change colors so this is how it looks. If you have, of course, the images with transparent background, feel free to change the card background. Okay, and now let's also uh, take a look at how this works with um, the images of not the logos, but the product images. So for example, we select image here and we choose this product. And here we'll see the result. So as you can see, it's it's not quite a proper image of the product because it changed its uh, dimensions and now the image is shrink a little bit. So we can also view this section from the point of view of the mobile version. So when we click on the mobile, as you can see, this is how it ends. We have several rows and we have two images, so two brands per row. While on the desktop version, here we have four images per row and of course we can add as many brands as we want if you want to hide some of your brands you can just simply click on this eye and it will be hidden from your store or if you want to you can remove the brand like remove i mean not the whole brand but remove this section this block from your store overall so for this we need to click on this brand here and we need to click on remove block here. So now let's do this. And this is how it looks like. Now let's save our changes and we'll take a look at our store with this section. So let's go here. Okay, so this is our store. We need to scroll down to this section. And here is our section. As you can see, uh, these, uh, these brands, these logos, uh, these images have links attached to them. So this is why when we hover on the brand, it zooms in. And once I click here, it will forward me to the uh, collection that we've linked with this image. However, for images that do not have any links in them, when I hover on them, nothing changes. So they stay the same. There is no zoom in like here for example if you don't want to use this section like a shop by brand then we can of course change it to for example shop by collection so for this let's go to the name we'll re rename the heading for example show uh, shop by collection and next instead of our images these ones we can simply choose Another image, let's click on um, remove this image, select the new one and for example, let us add this hat and we have the image link accessories, for example. Uh, you can of course uh, choose uh, another dimensions for your images. I'm just simply using the images I have for my products, but for this section which shrinks images, you can um, recreate the images in the preferable dimensions here as you can see they're quite horizontal so you can add the images uh, that will work the best for you so next we can also rename it from uh, the, from this image we can change um, so to some kind of a dress for example because we've added the collection dresses so let's just scroll through here let's see if we have the image of a dress so here is the image that we have. Let's select this one. Okay. And um, we can also just simply remove this. Not here. We can also remove these blocks and only leave like three, maybe 
images per row. So we'll remove these ones. Let's now also remove this one. And in here, in the third one that says outwear, let's change the image to coat or a jacket. So let's add this one here. And we have our collection in here. So if you add another type of images with other dimensions, for example, you can rename to this section to anything you want and you can utilize it to anything that suits your needs. So for example, this here, this one here, we've renamed to shop by collection. And when we go to our store, if we scroll down here, as you can see, we now have shop by collection. And when we click on, for example, this hat, we'll see the accessories collection. When we click on uh, this jacket, as you can see, we have the outwear collection and so on. So this is how you customize and add the section shop by brand. Keep in mind, you can rename it to anything you want and use it as you'd prefer. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team. We are always here to help. And don't forget about our theme menu, where you can also find all of this useful information regarding different types of sections. Thank you very much for your time and have a great one. Bye.